this is not the first time that we're getting such thing. It has happened quite a lot of times in the past but now we decided to finally make a video on it to tell people that this thing needs to be stopped. Since you clicked on this video it means you also want the same. Even if you don't then you still found this video interesting that's why you clicked. So let's talk about this ongoing chicanery in the gaming industry, these are fact spitters and let's begin. Before starting the main video, we must go into a bit of history to understand the situation in depth. Basically, at the time of PlayStation 5's launch, many gamers were wondering what kind of games it will offer because obviously since it's a new console, it won't feature a plethora of games as PlayStation 4 has. So to overcome this deficiency, they came up with the brilliant idea of remastering the old games which were released on PlayStation 4. The first set of games that were remastered for PlayStation 5, in my opinion, were Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man's Miles Morales. Although Miles Morales is not a remaster because it was made specifically for PlayStation 5, but it still counts as one. After that, God of War Ragnarok released and it had two versions, one for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Which led us to the conclusion that PlayStation 5 does not have its own set of games which are made specifically for the console. Even as of 2024, there are a lot less games which are made specifically for this console. And this is how it started. Now the issues for us is not the remaster itself, a remaster in definition is the exact same game which was released let's just say 5 years ago but with enhanced graphics, textures and some extra things packed into one. But it seems like Sony took this definition too far. The remasters that they released offered a bit of improvements and nothing else. The Spider-Man remasters on the other hand were actually good. They offered us way more than a simple graphical overhaul. But then things start to get worse, many other popular and goated games in the gaming community start getting remasters and most importantly remakes. Some impeccable games like The Last of Us gets a remaster and then eventually gets remade for PlayStation 5. And even if we ignore the remaster, the remake that they made for PlayStation 5 was completely bullshit. <laughs> They just changed the character models to match with the sequel and changed the overall graphics and that was it. No further improvements, nothing new, it's the same game just milked for new consoles. Then comes the Grand Theft Auto Expanded and Enhanced Edition. Now this remaster or let's just say even remake is somehow justified because the original game was released in 2013 so it's been quite a long time. But can you guess which game the developers remastered next? Come on, guess it. Well, if you haven't yet, then it's The Last of Us Part 2, the sequel of the previously mentioned game and it was released in 2020. Like what the f- Being greedy is one thing but this is just unacceptable. You are remastering a game which was released in 2020 for god's sake and even the graphics don't look outdated yet. The main point of a remaster is to improve and update the graphics and that's just it. At this point, we can safely say that they're doing it just for money. Games like UDA 5 has been remastered a lot of times and many others. But this was the past. In present, a few days ago on PlayStation State of Play event, we got another magnificent announcement by Sony and guess what? Horizon Zero Dawn is getting a remaster. And if we look at the improvements, they're saying they just updated the character model to match with the game sequel Forbidden West. And the improvements are just improved textures, character models and shaders, that's it. And just look at their confidence, they're charging 10 bucks for simple things which even a modder can fix. The best part, the game is also getting a release on PC, which makes absolutely no sense because you already have the base game and anyone can mod it, and they can mod it better. Even if you look at the comment section, people are making a lot of fun of Sony. And I hate to say but in the future, they have a lot other remasters planned, but this thing needs to be stopped. <laughs> After 
after everything that we just said, you may also agree that it's nothing but straight facts. You're making a remaster or a remake or whatever of a game which was recently released. Of a game which doesn't even need a remaster. To just make a few bucks, this just doesn't make any sort of sense. The amount of resources that you're spending on these games, they instead just focus on games which actually need one. We already said this thing quite a lot of times in our past videos, but it's actually true. Make the remaster editions of the original God of War games, they are the ones that eventually need it. They have not been released on PC and people will buy them like crazy so make a remaster of those games. Stop charging people 10 bucks for nothing more than a mere edition of shadows and textures but instead make a remake or remaster of games which actually deserve one. And trust us, they will sell well. And that's pretty much it. We hope that you guys loved and enjoyed this video and be sure to let us know in the comment section what you guys think. And also let us know which are the games which you want to see a remaster on. We'll see you in another interesting and amazing video. And these are Fact Spitters, signing out.